Picture this. A typical bustling afternoon in the heart of Chicago. Tourists snap photos of the bean. Office workers hurry through their lunch breaks and the L train rattles overhead. But something's different today. The air feels heavy, unnaturally still. The sky turns an eerie shade of green that even seasoned Chicagoans have never seen before. Then it appears. A massive, mile-wide EF-5 tornado. The most powerful category possible, bearing down on America's third-largest city. Its winds, reaching up to 300 miles per hour, create a roar that drowns out even the emergency sirens echoing through the concrete canyons. Glass begins to shatter from the iconic Willis Tower, shards raining down on the streets below. The massive rotating funnel tears through the Chicago River, sending boats airborne like toys. The pressure drop is so intense that windows explode outward from skyscrapers, turning downtown into a deadly zone of flying debris. The tornado's incredible force begins to compromise the structural integrity of buildings that were never designed to withstand such lateral forces. Parts of facades peel away from high-rises like paper. Cars and multi-story parking garages become deadly projectiles. The iconic Marina City Towers, those concrete corn cobs on the river, shed pieces of their unique architecture into the violent maelstrom. But the immediate destruction is just the beginning. The tornado leaves behind a changed city. Underground infrastructure, water mains, power lines, and the extensive subway system suffers catastrophic damage. Dozens of high-rises require extensive structural assessment before anyone can return. The financial impact ripples through the global economy as the Chicago Board of Trade and Mercantile Exchange face extended closures. The cleanup would take years. Insurance claims would stretch into the billions, and Chicago's skyline, one of the most famous in the world, would be forever altered. Some buildings might never be rebuilt to their former glory, yet in true Chicago spirit, the city would rebuild. Just as it rose from the Great Fire of 1871, Chicago would emerge from this disaster. But the memory of that day, when nature reminded us of its awesome power by bringing one of America's greatest cities to its knees, would be forever etched in history. A sobering reminder of our vulnerability in the face of nature's most violent storms.